Hey guys, this is Winter Traditions. It is going to be Beltane soon, so I figured I would show you guys my altar as per usual. Uh, it's quite dark. I am. It is purple, it's not black. The tablecloth, or not even tablecloth, altar cloth, and it has this nice golden trim around it. Now I did something different. I put a box right here just to kind of give it a bit more dimension so that I can prop things up so I'm not like reaching around over stuff. It's easier to grab things this way. So over here in the goddess side I have goddess candle which is purple, her chalice, uh, the statue of course of Freya, uh, some a dish that has is filled with uh, rainwater from the one rain that we had. Uh, then I have the wand. And in the god side we have my athame. I took off um, the ribbons and uh, hematite that was on here because it, it just weighed it down so much. And I, and I like the feel of it a lot better. It, just, it was a bit lopsided before and it was kind of awkward to hold because the handle was so heavy because of these charms. But now that the strings and the hematite's gone, it's so much lighter, which I like. So I have that. My bat bell. And I have my incense holder. Uh, this is Dionysus, Dionysus statue, his god candle, which is also purple. Uh, in the middle I have so, a beautiful bouquet of fake flowers in a brass vase. Then I have my little offering, my wooden offering bowl with some, I guess, flower petals or some flowers that had fallen off from Easter because my dad got some Easter flowers for his girlfriend and she, she decided, okay, I'll just, uh, package up the ones that fall off and I'll give them to Kelsey. So I was like, oh yay, I have flowers. So I think it's a nice addition. I think they like it. Then I have my new tarot deck here. I'll play around with that when the time comes. I have my pendulum, which is kind of hiding right now, but that's my pendulum made out of lapidolite. I have my amethyst uh, sphere, if only to add some symmetry to the design. And I have my Japanese fan in the background. You can't really see it, but it's pink and and white and has butterflies and sakura blossoms and to me Beltane is a very it it makes me feel like I'm back in Japan because of all the, the colors and for me purple is a very symbolic color of Japan just purple and flowers and butterflies and just that feeling of refreshed energy you know, that, that, that sort of feeling. <laughs> so, and I of course have my old adept cord. It's tied around kind of show how the god and goddess are bound together in marriage. And through their, their bound power, they create life, which is the flowers. Yeah. And my new, this is my new adept cord. It's much longer now and the braid is much better. So that's what I'll be wearing during ritual. And then of course, ah, I'm trying to, ah. Then of course I'll wear my crown and my necklaces. You've seen them all before. And I will do a ritual on May 1st, but 
I will probably celebrate Beltane again at the end of May, which is really weird, I know, but uh, Canada, seriously, we are, like, a star was supposed to be, like, the beginning of fertility and whatnot. Yeah. We have snow. It snowed last night. Okay, not fertility. Nope. So, <laughs> uh, not feeling the holiday when it comes to outside. And that's what I kind of dislike about the way the Wheel of the Year is set up for Wiccans, is that it follows an astrological calendar r rather than a natural calendar, if you know what I mean. Like, uh, Ostara, uh, Litha, Maybon, Yule, they're all based on the astrological dates that the Earth coincides with the Sun, like, if the Sun is closer or whatever. Actually, not closer, sorry. It facing the Sun. <laughs> so... But, obviously we're close to the sun, but we're not feeling the heat right now. So, I will wait until the end of May to do a full-on ritual. For now, it'll just be, like, I recognize it's Beltane for the rest of the population of paganism, but, you know, not my groove to celebrate a fertility growth garden fairy greeny holiday what it's snowing <laughs> so there we go um what i want to do with with the winter tradition is to kind of recreate the wheel of the year i think there's too much emphasis put on you have to celebrate it on these certain days, no matter what your weather is like outside, no matter what the nature around you is telling you. Because um, <laughs> honestly, around in bulk time is the coldest part of the year, which would be like Yule. In bulk would be like around Ostara. Ostara would be... I don't know, early May, mid-May. Yeah, so it's like that. We're about a, a month, month and a half off from, I guess, the normal pagan wheel of the year. So I feel that with the winter tradition, we need to adjust it that way, and we need to recognize that we don't have to follow the astrological calendar. We need to follow based off of nature's ways, because that's exactly what paganism is. That's what Wicca is. It's following nature and recognizing her cycles. Well, we can't recognize her cycles when we're two months ahead of her. So, <laughs> that's my little spiel. And that's my glorious altar. And the new moon is soon, so I have a really simplified altar just giving you a peek. It's nothing special, honestly. It This is actually going to be burned for once. And my offering dish, my wand, my athame, my bowl. It's nothing special, guys. It's simple. What I needed. I was more focused on doing this one because it's just so pretty. Anyways, thanks for watching. We're at nine minutes. Uh, tune in. Sometime I will set, I'll uh, upload a video on like on Beltane ritual, etc. So give you guys some ideas or something. Yeah, toodaloo.